In this video we are going to show you how to use two of Circuit Wizard's virtual instruments. The multimeter and probe. We will start with the multimeter. The multimeter is available for selection from the virtual instruments folder in the gallery. To connect up the multimeter, wires are dragged from the terminal sockets and dropped on the part of the PCB that wish to measure. Grabbing the end of probe allows you to place it elsewhere. You will notice the probe snaps to tracks and pads as you move it around. Pressing the run button starts the simulation. Rotating the center dial enables you to choose between measuring voltage, current, and resistance. The center dial allows you to select how many decimal places are shown for a particular reading. Another useful virtual instrument is the probe, which provides a simple way of recording voltage waveform. Clicking on Add Probe button allows you to place a probe on your PCB. They can be dropped on tracks or component pins. A graph window will automatically appear at the bottom of the screen, once a probe has been added. During simulation the graph window displays the voltage output from any probes on your PCB. You can move probes to different points on your PCB while the simulation is running and up to 4 probes can be used at any time. Clicking the right mouse button over the graph window allows you to decide how results are displayed. For example, auto pause causes the simulation to pause when the graph window is full. While clear results wipes the graph clean. In this video we are going to show you how to use two of Circuit Wizard's virtual instruments. The multimeter and probe. We will start with the multimeter. The multimeter is available for selection from the virtual instruments folder in the gallery. To connect up the multimeter, wires are dragged from the positive and negative terminals and dropped on the part of the circuit that you wish to measure.
Right clicking on the multimeter and selecting instrument allows you to choose between measuring voltage, current, and resistance. Finally pressing the run button enables you to begin using the multimeter to measure your circuit. Another useful virtual instrument is the probe, which provides a simple way of recording voltage waveforms. Clicking on the Add Probe button allows you to place a probe on your circuit. They can be dropped on wires or component pins. Graph window will automatically appear at the bottom of the screen once a probe has been added. During simulation the graph window displays the voltage output from any probes on your circuit. circuit while the simulation is running and up to four probes can be used at any one time. Right-clicking over the graph window allows you to decide how results are displayed. For example, auto-pause causes the simulation to pause when the graph window is full. While clear results wipes the graph clear. If you have any questions regarding our topic today, please comment down below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And hit the notification bell. For you to be notified whenever I upload video tutorials like this. Thanks for watching. See you on my next video.